So the guy from Discovery Channel's Man vs. Wild, the guy named Bear, was actually injured over the weekend, but not from doing any crazy thing from the show, like eating insects or jumping from trees, but he was actually going on an expedition through Antarctica to bring awareness to other different kinds of energy sources. Why it was an expedition through Antarctica, I don't know, but he was injured. People from Discovery Channel are saying that it wasn't part of their thing, but he seems to be doing fine, or at least will be doing fine very shortly. So don't worry, you Man vs. Wild fans. It's December 9th, 2008. It's a Tuesday, and it's the release of Dark Knight today in the U.S., and they're actually talking about a re-release January 23rd, the day after the Oscar. This is exciting news for anybody who's already seen the movie like 300 times in the theaters because Dan Fellman, who's the president of distribution over at Warner Brothers, said that they were going to re-release the movie for IMAX and big screen so that a lot of people can see the movie who already have it, which I don't know if you haven't seen the movie, but you better do it. Also, the movie has grossed $996 million, which is really close to $1 billion, and with the re-release, it'll most likely hit the $1 billion stage, which only three other movies have actually hit. Those three movies being The Last of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, The Last of the Lord of the Rings movies, and Titanic. And Christopher Nolan has actually promised a lot of extras on that DVD. Yes. And if you remember when Batman Begins came out, there were no extras on that DVD. Also coming up in January, Dark Knight is said to get pretty much all kinds of Oscars. Best Director for Christopher Nolan. So it could be Heath Ledger for Best Actor or Best Supporting Actor. Maggie Gyllenhaal, Best Supporting Actress. So a lot of great things are coming up for Batman fans. Or if you're like me, a lot of speculation's coming up for the third movie. A lot of people are saying, well, Johnny Depp could be the Riddler. A lot of people are saying Angelina Jolie could be Catwoman. A lot of speculation is going on, so it's a great time to be a Batman fan, including myself, which I've always loved Batman. If you could check out my wallet, check this out. It's a, it's a uh, Batman wallet. I've had this for like a few years. I love this wallet to death. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say for today. Uh, I'm going to, again, post the flyer for our show January 3rd later this week, but I do want to say if you want to buy tickets and you live in the Denver area, do that now because it's going to probably sell out, or at least we're going to try to sell the place out. So, see you guys later.